Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about how to set up your Microsoft Outlook automatic replies and out of office replies on an iOS device or Android device. If you find this video useful, please click the like button, hit subscribe, tap that bell. It helps out our channel massively. Um, and with that said, let's jump on over to our iOS. Right, the first thing that we're going to do is jump over to our Outlook app. From here, once you have this loaded, you'll notice in the top left hand side an icon. Um, for me, it's the Google symbol, um, but for you, this may be um, your initials or a corporate logo of some kind. Um, so, what you'd want to do is go click on that icon, and then you'll notice various different accounts that you may have set up um, on the device. Select the account that you would like to set the out of office up on and then go and click on the little gear icon in the bottom left hand corner. From here you'll notice all the accounts that you have listed, storage devices uh, and a bunch of other settings as well. What you'll want to do is find the email account you would like the out of office on and click that. So for me that is going to be Google. From here um, you'll notice uh, obviously your email address, the description of what the email address is about, um, suggested replies, um, and various different account settings and under account settings you'll notice the uh, automatic replies section so for me this is currently set to off um, and yours may be different you may already have an out of office set up and running and you would like to turn that off in which case this is the section you could do that um, but for me I would like to actually set up an out of office reply for this particular account so what I'm going to do is click on the automatic reply section this loads up a new um, dialog box here and there's a little toggle button um, for automatic replies. If we click that and make that go blue, um, we then get a series of different options appear. So the first um, set of options that we have here is a reply to everyone or reply to my organization. So if um, you only wanted to set up an out of office specifically to um, internal emails for your organization, then that's where you would select that. Uh, if you wanted to set up an out of office reply to both um, internal and external emails um, then obviously select everybody so for me I would like to select everyone and then um, under the next uh, option here use different messages now this refers to um, sending a different message to an, anyone from your own organization so an internal email um, and a different message to everyone who is outside of your organization so an external email so I'm going to click that and turn that on and you'll notice that two pop-up um, dialog boxes just down here, text fields, um, open up. The first one is for any email um, that you can send internally for your organization. And then underneath that is a reply or an automatic reply to any external senders. Okay, so as you can see, I've previously set up a um, out of office um, saying that I'll be out of the office until Friday. Um, and that goes to both internal and external. I'm happy with that. I will be out of the office until Friday, um, but you could obviously type in various different things just by clicking into each particular box and typing out the message that you would like to actually send. So I'm just going to format this a little bit better. Um, so that I'll dress it up a little bit. Just add a couple of lines in here and here. Okay, so with that done, everything is set up and we're happy with it. In the top right hand corner we'll see a tick icon and what we want to do is just click on that tick and you'll now notice that our automatic replies are on. Now this um, particular function from the iOS app is kind of meant as a last resort. It's not something that you want to be um, using as the method to actually uh, apply an, an automatic reply um, permanently. It, lacks certain functionalities so we cannot select an um, in-between date ranges like you can with the desktop apps um, so it's incredibly important that you turn this off if you're only going to use the iOS um, app for your out of office replies um, otherwise I would still say um, you want to be using your desktop to set up your um, out of offices before you actually leave the office um, and use this method if you have forgotten to set up your out of office and need to actually uh, apply an automatic reply whilst you're actually uh, away um, somewhere. So with that being said, 
Um, it does lack that functionality, but um, it's still a very useful feature um, for out on about on the road, etc. So if you found this uh, video useful, please click the like button, hit subscribe. Uh, as I said before, it helps the channel out massively. And I will catch you guys in the next video.